Hello everyone and as always welcome back to a new video. Today we will be making the T-slot table for this homemade milling machine. In the previous video you saw me build and assemble this spindle. Make sure to watch that video as well, we will link it at the end. As you can imagine milling like this is rather difficult, so I decided to spend some extra money and order in some steel. Let's get started.
I have just done all the grinding, it was quite a bit of work and I didn't want to bore you with all that. Now I want to try something new. This is going to be the front of the table and as you can see it's quite ugly. It's not completely even and there are some welds. So what I want to do is put some filler on the front. Just let it cure, sand it and paint it. That way it will look way more professional than this. Alright, this is it. I'm still waiting for one part for the spindle and then I can do the first testing. I expect to upload a video with the first cuts um, within one or two weeks, so stay tuned for that. By the way, I just passed 100 subscribers. I want to thank all of you and if you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe and join me in this adventure and everything that is coming in the future so this table cost me around 40 euros i think that's not too bad considering these tables are very expensive and you don't find them in the exact shape and size you want this table is weighing in only the part I just made at 8 kilograms. That's nice and heavy. I still need to weigh the entire machine. But the more weight, the more better for milling machines. I actually didn't expect this, but I did put a layer, a coat of this grey paint on top of the primer. And I ran out of paint. And due to the lockdown, I cannot get another paint can. Also, these slots at the bottom are wider than I had imagined they would be, but that's why you need to design your stuff. These holes you see here, and there's one over here, they are just for lubrication of the spindle bushings. And also in this corner, for some reason, the holes don't line up, so I can't fit a bolt in there. I need to fix that. Overall I am quite happy with how this is turning out. It still moves fine and I still need to level the table a bit, but that can be very easily done by putting shims under these parts. And also I will put a nice coat of oil on top of the surface because everything that is shiny will rust in here. That's it for this video, I want to thank you for watching, subscribe and you might as well leave a comment below.